What's going on, guys? Welcome back to MC Eternal with your pal Super Turtle here, guys. Today we are by all of our Thomcraft stuff for last episode, but it seemed to have moved. I wonder where it could have gone. Hmm. If only I had looked up a spooky Minecraft house and built it. Look at this, guys. I looked up a spooky Minecraft house and built it, and this is what came up. This is going to be our Thomcraft base, guys, and we're going to do all of our cool Thomcraft stuff in here. Now, I have just finished building this. It took me probably about three to four hours to do. I moved our stuff in there. This is very temporary where everything is in here, but I want to give you guys the nickel tour. So these are uh, interesting trees. I'll find out what are trees, not but interesting doors. I'll find out which ones those are. I might need to change this. Um, I, I don't like how low that is. I might have to make it a little bigger. But guys, this is the base. We have a big window here. I think, I think that we have to. Uh, this is all called charred oak or charred wood and i love it uh we're gonna probably need to make this a little bit different kind of bow this out so we can have our pedestal thing in there and i just realized that we are gonna have an issue because it requires an odd number and this is an even number but we'll get to that later um so yeah so each of these levels can be accessed uh over here too. Check. Oh, but we got to turn that off. Uh, over here. Uh, oh, I actually haven't finished it. You can still see outside. So I'll have to get some more of the, the wood here. Uh, that's the canopy wood that you get from the Twilight Forest. Uh, yeah. And then we have windows over here. This is uh, chiseled glass. It's called the light one. I think it looks really good uh, when you can see the borders here. Let's go over here. Yeah, just very basic. There's actually some storage up here. There's a level two. Um, for the window, I don't know what we're going to do up here yet. We might just have this to be a very decorative. Uh, and then there's also some stuff back here. So if we need to hide like any wire or anything like that, we could do it back here pretty easily. But yeah, so this is the new Thomcraft base. And it's, uh, it's very, very neat. And I want to pull my hair out because I built it wrong the first time. I built it pointing this way. And I'm like, why would we have it pointing this way when our base is over here? So we had to rebuild it facing the right way. So, oh. Oh, I gotta fix that. So we're gonna have to go through and you know just obviously finish some things up. I also got this cool tower up here. I don't know what I'm gonna put up here. Uh, your guys' suggestions to put in this little tower would be awesome, but I think it looks a lot better with that tower on there. I ended up removing it once and I thought it looked stupid, so I put the tower back on it and I love it again. So this is what we got. I'm loving it to bits. I love it a lot. Uh, it's it, it is a hundred percent spawn proof. So if we hit F7. Uh, nothing can spawn on here. I went ahead and used paint and glowstone, lit everything up that we could. Pay no attention to these. Those, don't worry about them. I'll have to go back and fix that. Um, but that, I guess those are the only two spawning points there. Dang, I'm a liar. <laughs> so anyway, let's, oh, we're going to screenshot that, by the way. That's cool, right? And yeah, that is the nickel tour of our new Thomcraft area. Okay, so today we're going to be focusing on kind of moving forward with our alcohol chemic al alchemy alchemy that's the word but uh, we're gonna need some storage crates for all of the stuff we're about to get so i'm going to go ahead and do this uh which will allow us like those are all of our vis crystals but we're gonna need other ones because as you can see here voltus that thing that's the that's not one of these guys so we need to take all of these guys out uh and we might end up giving these guys their own separate thing there we go um, but for now, they're all going to get put in here. Okay, and then Obsidian gives us what we need for this. We need darkness. Okay, so if we look at our tab here, we need to go through all of these. So the first one is darkness, which we get from Obsidian. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to make some of those. And because we're taking most of the stuff out, we should be all right. Um, but now we have... If we look here, that's weird. That's not one of the required ones. Okay, so we have all of those, I guess. And so to get the crystals out, you need a quartz silver, which is just quartz put into a crafting grid. We have a whole bunch of them over here. And then to clear this out, when it has this in there, you just right click it. Even if it doesn't have it, you can also do that. But that's how you get rid of the stuff. Uh, we need to find a way to keep our flux down because if this stuff keeps going out, we're not getting all of it. It's going to create some problems for mainly us. Yeah, we're going to open up a rift or something like that. So let me go get some more items. We're going to get some uh, more of these shard or these crystals and we'll be back. Okay, so we're going to try to get some void essence from one of these guys here. 
Now, if we refill this with water, can we get some more? Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, that was good. Yep, we got the vacos. So let's go ahead and check here. Boom, check marked. Awesome sauce. So we also got some of this stuff as well. So we're going to have it for later on, which is going to be really sweet. That is not the same. That's different. Cool. All right, so we got that. So what else do we... Oh, we got to have all of them. Hmm, they made it really difficult to do this. Okay, I'm going to spend quite a bit of time getting all this stuff, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I ended up adding an ME interface over here, and it's linked up to our system. We have a, another quantum chamber under here on its own channel. We're starting to use purple now, and as you can see, we have Thomcraft base here. We have one on each side, so we have an ME terminal over here and over here so we can access our items so we don't have to go all the way back up to our base just to access this, which is amazing. I know we can do wirelessly, but we're not going to do that because I think this is cooler. So anyway, uh, we've gone ahead and we've gotten every single one of them. If we look at my inventory, we have a heck ton. Um, I would just recommend guys like Dropper, like this is for exchange. If you guys need the exchange one, the per per perdition, this guy here. Uh, the dropper is by far the best one to get that. Uh, very cheap, all of that, you know, diamonds, stuff like that. Death was uh, uh, it's like a poison potion. That's how I got that. So very simple to get. But now we can go ahead and complete this guy. All right, now we need to make an Essentia Smeltery, which is a crucible, brass plates, cobblestone, and a furnace. That's not difficult at all. Requires Ignis and 50 Viscos. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put all of these in here and we're gonna make the we're gonna make the Essentia furnace. Okay, so I think we've got everything here except the uh, this guy here. We just need to make another one of these. It's I think it's a crucible. Yep, got a second one of these. Very cool. So let's go ahead and it was like this, like that, and then wrapped underneath. And boom, Essentia Smeltery. Bam, we got one of those. Very cool. All right, now Arcane Eldemic. One of these guys. Ah, oh, we need more brass. I am so low on brass. But we also need these guys as well. What is that? Back. Um, silver wood planks. Now, I know we're going to go get some silver wood. All right, guys, so we ended up having silver wood in our, or in our ME system, so that's a little little embarrassing so we're gonna go ahead and make up some of this stuff here so it looked like the yeah so essentia filters are here awesome sauce we are getting a lot wow oh, this seemed to recover pretty quick okay so we need some more brass we've only got one of these and i believe we need four total am i not mistaken we just need two, so we need one more. Shoot. Okay. All right, so... Hello, Mr. Creeper. I'm in the nether looking for some sphelerite ore. Um, we need to get sphelerite ore so that we can... Ooh, look, diamonds. Um, so that we can get some zinc, because that's what we're missing uh, to make the brass, unfortunately. And sphelerite's kind of like a greenish... Like this here. This is sphelerite. Um... So we need to get a little bit of this stuff because I don't want to really have to do this again. So we have 28. That should be good. So let's head on back home to the base. We're going to need to make a special tool for this or something special for this, unfortunately. Um, if we look here to the uses, we need to get an industrial electrolyzer. So to get one of these guys, ugh, we got to get into Tech Reborn and Thermal Foundation. We already have that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the crafting tree of making this stuff, basically. So we should have all that done. Refined ironing, is that just, yeah, iron is just smelted up. Actually, if we were to do iron blocks, would that go by faster? No, well, it has to be iron ingots. Yeah, freaking heck. Okay, that's no problem. Go ahead and get this stuff done. Okay, so we should have enough refined iron in there for all the materials. So let's go ahead and put the rest of this stuff back in. It should go right back into block form. Okay, so I need a few of these. I don't know how many we're going to need. Tree tap. No problem. They don't stack. Son of a nutcracker, dude. 
Uh, some of these. Put that guy in there. Do you stay? <laughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to make that much. Okay, extractor. Do we need two of these? Yes, we need two of these. Okay, so we got two extractors going. Good. So we got the top row and the bottom row. We need one of these guys. Carbon plate. Son of a... <laughs> it's just... Uh, man, it, it can't be easy, can it? Carbon mesh, and that's turned into a carbon plate with a pressurizer. I think our best bet would be to make one of these guys. Okay, so I'm going to do the crafting tree off camera, and I'll be right back. Not going to lie, guys. Doing this is like a major throwback to when I first started playing... Uh, modded because it's asking you to make these mixed metal alloys and I remember making these mixed metal alloys with refined iron I think it was copper at the time uh, We're probably using bronze and then tin and it would make these and you used to pressurize them like we're about to do and make the advanced alloys That's crazy awesome. What actually went in the middle again? I forget. Oh a bucket. See this is why we put the ME terminals here and I think these are starting to work better too now that the server's been rebooted Let's go ahead and grab a bucket, put it here, put it there, and booyah. We've got this guy. Okay, so if we put this here, yes. Let's grab some coal. Uh, where do you go, coal? There you go. Okay, so maybe that doesn't work. <laughs> So we made both of that. Um, okay, so <clears throat> to get into the arcane infusion, we need Vial of Air Essentia. Now, if, I, if I've read online forums correctly, <clears throat> should be able to take these guys and put them over here. I honestly, guys, I really like this. Like, I normally don't do one wide stairs, but it just feels good in this house. Oh my gosh. Worth it. So we're gonna have to put like a roof or something on here. I don't know what we're gonna do, but yeah, we're just gonna look good. Okay, so that's how those work. Okay, so this. The oh, we got one! Yes, yes, we got one. Okay, so now we need a feather, right? And a piece of stone. A feather. Okay, now if we look at our thumbnomicon. Yes, we did it. Runic Matrix. So we need Niter, and then the Arcane Stone, and we get the, the guy up top. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, to get Niter, what was that again? I already forget. Ooh, stage two. So we need to make one of these. Okay, cool. So now... Oh, look at that. Paving stones. Check, 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 check. Barrier stone. By altering the magical structure of Arcane Stone, I am able to create paving stone that adds new... Bounce to the step of anyone else across it. Anything. Anyone walking across it will receive a greater speed and agility for a couple of seconds. Okay, so we don't really need that. Um, fortress armor faceplate. That's pretty neat. Uh, so let's see. Where's the night or? I think it's nope, not here. Maybe here. Yes, nighter. Ag oh, oh, ooh. We can just throw that stuff in there. Okay, so we need ten fire. Okay. 10 fire. We need... Oh, we need a little bit more light. And then we got 8 of the light. And we need... Potentia. I love how it shows you what it's what. We need more Potentia. Oh, dang it. Gee, dang it. Oh, well. We'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, so let's go ahead. Grab some glowstone. Get some torches. <laughs> we don't need that many torches. Uh, a piston. Okay, so we're just going to put one piston in. That gives us the potentia we need. Ten there. And then maybe some of this. Haha, -ha, we did it. Oh no.
Yeah, I don't know if that was good. All right, with the Nitor crafted and the arcane stone bricks here, we should be able to go. Ah, okay. We don't have enough V's available, huh? Hmm, maybe we need some of these discounts, huh? So let's see, about what do we have at Thumbcraft? We've got nothing really. Oh, a flex sponge. Oh, look at this. Right click. This is what I was talking about. 1051 drained. That is amazing. Do we have any of those uh, rifts yet? I need to scan one. Gosh, uh, the more I see this, I like the more I just love it because uh, I love it. Oh no, we have broken that. That's okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do a basement. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys want me to put a basement in this thing. I think it'd be pretty cool. But I don't have enough of this. That sucks. Let's go see if we can find somewhere that has enough of these. This, whatever it's called. Creeper! Bye, Creeper. Okay. How about over here? 121. Nah. Okay. What about over here? How about... Ooh, bouncing. Bouncing. Not bouncing. Okay. What about here? 152. Yep, that'll do it. So, bang, bing, bong, boom, bing, bing. Yep, that's all of them. And then Arcane. Niter in the middle. Yeah, baby. Okay, let's head, up. Let's head on back. <laughs> we went all over here just to do that. So I'll have to do some research about, like, why that is. Uh, we're going to kill this creeper. Okay. Put this guy back. Cool thing is we got to keep all the this in the area if we needed to craft anything else. All right. So we've got all of that done. Let's see what our Thaumonomicon says. Completed. Okay, yep. So Arcane Pedestal and setting this bad boy up. So that's arcane stone. Okay, so we're gonna be able to set it up today, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Again! Why are you like this? It says two channels are being used by this thing. It is lying to me. Are two channels being used on the other end? Let's go, I'm gonna go check that. Okay, so I think we might have solved the issue with that. Uh, it looked like it wasn't, like, holding enough power. Now that we have it lit up... Okay, so I think we might have done it. I don't know. Now we have, a, like, a power something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get into at Thom... Thomcraft. These guys here. Can we do anything with these? We can't turn them back into their normal stuff, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Because that's what the recipe calls for. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and get crafty. Okay. So, infusion. Arcane pedestal, top and lower. Ten. Ten this is all we need. Like so. Like so. Okay. So, we have four of these now. We got some of these. Let's go ahead and have a look. So we need eight stone. Okay. Ah, that sucks. I wish I would have thought about this earlier, but oh well. Okay. Ah, it's not centered. It looks terrible. Wait, how do you click it? Right. Once all right, you may click the runic matrix with a casting tool. Um, and a pedestal located on the matrix. Once 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe that's the issue. Click it with this guy, right? Yep, okay, so this is built correctly. Where do you click it? I thought... Salus Mundus, of course! Ha-ha! <laughs> And bingo, we got it. And it's not that big actually, so we could possibly put this over there. Which I'm gonna go do. Okay, so let's place this over here now because we know that it ain't that big. And we can put our vis crystals around it. Um, Okay, so we don't need the crystals. We need to put the other stuff around it. We need to put our jars, and this is going to be where our jars are at. And Salus Mundus. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're good. So now we can do all of our crafting around it. Sweet. So we did it. We have our infusion pedestal thingamabobber, I want to call it. Uh, mystical, well, that's not it. Okay, so we up, we got everything we wanted to do. Runic Matrix system is up and running, so we can start making some cool Thomcraft stuff in the next episode. But guys, it's gonna wrap up the episode for today. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure that like button. And if you loved, if you loved this building, make sure you let me know down in the comments. If you guys want to, I will link you guys to like the, the building I got inspired from, because it's a little different what they did. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out, bye-bye.